guys, welcome back to my channel. Sliss here, you're welcome to Jenny's family. So, in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys five more things that I wish I knew before starting a YouTube channel. Number one is upload schedule. Um, this will let your subscribers know when you're uploading. Um, I upload every Wednesday and every Saturday, so, so I make sure I write in the description down below. Also, I let them know at the end of my video when I'm uploading and or during my video. So I upload every Wednesday and every Saturday at 7 p.m. This will help you organize better with your editing and your upload schedule. Because it is better that you let uh, your subscribers know when you're uploading so they can be consistent on your video. Number two is to get ready for nothing. This is because when I started my YouTube channel, I thought if I make a video this way, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be famous by now. Like thousand of views and four thousand of subscribers no it's it doesn't happen that way you need to have patience you need to take some time with yourself and um yeah you're gonna grow but not instantly so don't expect that there are users coming on youtube every single day and um it just takes time to be noticed so what you need to do is to keep making videos mm. keep uploading them and make good content and most importantly have fun so by doing this you will gain more subscribers and recognition so don't let this discourage you and number three is to not get caught up in the numbers it is very easy as a small youtuber to be obsessed with how many subscribers I've got, how many views I've got, and um, or how slow your channel is growing. It is very easy as a small YouTuber to because experience. What's more important is to have loyal audience, um, collab with other YouTubers, and um, having fun. Because if you focus too much, you're gonna lose sight of the importance of being a YouTuber, which is having fun, collabing with other youtubers and Number just four be is to get your equipment um i didn't know about it um in the beginning because i just didn't know and i kind of hustled like a lot um i used to i used to like put books on top of each other and then put my phone on it and then uh, make a video from there or i would like paste um put my phone on the wall and use like a cello tape to <laughs> keep it still so it can be there and it can focus on my face so it is very good to have your equipment um so it will be less difficult for you because i film with my phone um a samsung s9 and it's not that bad so yeah and i've got the ring light as well um i did um a video on on that as well like how I unpacked my ring light so I will let you guys see that right here or um, I'll put the link in the description down below or in the i button right here so you guys can go and check that out the ring light is not that expensive maybe it's about 50 pounds or 60 pounds or maybe a hundred so you can just go on amazon and go and check that out or i'll put the link in the description down below so you guys can see that as well from where i got it from amazon so have your equipment ready because this will help you out a lot and number five is um beginning every video with a hook it is very important for the first 10 seconds of your video to get your audience attention because if you don't get their attention in the very beginning they are likely to click off your video don't let them know what you're gonna do in this video or what they're going to benefit from this video so that was it for today i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did make sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already Click the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I post a new video. And um, I hope this video helped you out a lot. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>